so much for coming down. My name's Zach. Thank you, sweet. Getting laughs just by the fucking look of me, mate. Not bad at all. Fucking not bad at all. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Did, I, did anyone here see, right, a, a few weeks ago, uh, there was a, a, a woman in the news who had a worm in her brain? You see that? I'm fucking jealous of that woman. No, it must be nice, hey, because she went to the doctor uh, and her symptoms were she was depressed and she was forgetful. And they had a look at her brain, there was a worm in there, pulled it out, all good. Must be fucking nice, mate. I go to the doctor, say that I'm depressed and forgetful, I'm just fucked in the head. I'm, I'm praying for a worm in there, you know. One of my, uh, my favourite weeks of the year is coming up soon. Uh, Bisexual Awareness Week. Anyone here looking forward to Bisexual Awareness Week? No? Was anyone here even aware? Of Bisexual Awareness Week? You weren't? See, fuck man. I reckon they need to start doing like Bisexual Awareness Week, Awareness Week, you know? Because no one ever knows it's on. And I'm trying to get behind it, you know, I reckon it's a great idea. I love the idea of Bisexual Awareness Week, but personally, I gotta reckon a week's enough. <laughs> Honestly, I reckon we need to be aware of bisexuals year round. <laughs> because they're out there, mate. <laughs> be careful. No, you gotta watch them, you gotta watch those bloody bisexuals, right? No, you do, right? Because they'll do anything to anyone, so... <laughs> on the way home, just watch out. <laughs> keep your head on a swivel. You gotta know the signs as well, right? Just keep an eye out for like a couple of blokes and most women. <laughs> Man, I was, uh, I was thinking about this the other day as well, right? I reckon, uh, I reckon the bar for being called gay has really risen, right? And don't get me wrong, like that's a good thing. Like, we don't use the word gay as an insult as much anymore. As a society, we've progressed past that and that is good, but fuck, man. <laughs> that bar has gone up a long way. I'll give you an example, right? A few months ago, I, I put this earring in, right? I used to wear this earring when I was younger. Right? I, I realised a few months ago I still had the hole in my ear. I thought, fuck it, I'll put the earring back in. Since I put it back in, no one said a word. Nothing, mate, right? But when I used to wear this earring when I was younger, people would call me gay just for wearing the earring. That's all it took. Put the earring in, get called gay. You know, these days you suck a bloke off at a party and you're boy curious at best. <laughs> what do you got to do? I saw, um... I saw there's a movie coming out soon. There's a new movie coming out about, uh, about Hot Wheels cars. Fuck, I'm keen for that, mate. I'm so keen for that. I, I'm gonna go see the Hot Wheels movie for sure, you know? Like, you know, the girls got Barbie, we get fucking Hot Wheels. And I hope it's realistic. Like, I hope the Hot Wheels movie is super realistic. Like, I hope at some point throughout the Hot Wheels movie, right, the cars are racing along the orange track. Remember the orange track? Hot Wheels track? I hope at some point the cars are racing along there, and then out of nowhere the track just gets picked up and wrapped around some kid's ass. For not picking up their Hot Wheels cars. You know, you just hear, I could have broke my fucking Mac! <laughs> alright, I'll tell you one more thing and then I'll fuck off, alright? <laughs> I'm, I'm a single man, right? I'm a, I'm, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I, uh, I, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm dating at the moment, right? I'm, at, I'm, I'm dating, I'm, a, I'm on the horny apps. <laughs> Back on the dating apps, and I hadn't been on those apps for a few years, right? And a lot has changed in those few years that I was off, off those apps, right? I was on them a few years ago, then I was in a loving relationship until I wasn't, and now I'm back on those apps, right? And like I said, a lot has changed. Like a lot more people on those apps now, they're into a thing called ethical non-monogamy, right? If you don't know what that is, it's also called polyamory, right? If you don't know what that is, that's like when you're in a relationship with someone. Right, but you're allowed to have sex with other people, right? As far as I can tell, it's swingers for people with blue hair, you know? And, and I'm not having a go at you. If that's what you're into, like, it's not for me, but if you're into that, fucking have at it, you know? Get amongst it. Let a thousand blossoms bloom. But, 
but it's not for me, right? Like, uh, I don't think I could do it. Like, I was talking to a mate of mine uh, about it the other day who's in a polyamorous relationship, right? And I was asking him about it, and he told me the benefits for him and his partner, right? He said it's good for him and his partner, right? Because his partner, she has a kink where she's into getting tied up with ropes, and she doesn't know how to tie knots. <laughs> So he just fucking subbies that job out, mate. <laughs> but I don't think I could do it. Like, I don't think I could be in a polyamorous relationship. You know, I don't even know if I'd be comfortable being, like, third man in, you know? <laughs> like, coming off the bench. I don't know if I could even do that. Like, call me old-fashioned, but if I'm going to fuck a bloke's missus, I don't want him to know about it. <laughs> now, I'll take my non-monogamy. Unethical. Thank you very much. All right, guys, thank you so much.